Kelt i Rafrapo. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Holiday on Pandora, where we explore the science, lore, and inspiration behind James Cameron's Avatar films. In Avatar The Way of Water, we are now introduced to the Recombinants, or Recoms for short. These are a group of Navi human hybrids, like avatars, but with one major difference. Where avatars were engineered to be controlled remotely through persona projection technology, commonly known as link units, recoms have been imprinted with the neural patterns, or memories, of former RDA security operatives. Think of it like avatars are streaming one's consciousness, where recoms are a hard copy. Codenamed Project Phoenix, like the symbol for immortality and rebirth, these transgenic soldiers are fully integrated, autonomous beings, which Pandora has yet to identify as a threat. Proverbial wolves in Navi clothing. No shit. So how many are there? And can the RDA just keep printing them off like they print a new city? Luckily for Jake and his family, only 12 that we know of have made it to Pandora, and an even smaller number made it to the end of the film. I'm inclined to take you through them by order of death. But first, a quick disclaimer, if you've seen this image from Avatar The Way of Water's A Visual Dictionary, please note that three of the names have been mislabeled, and it does make a difference. You'll soon see why. First up on the chopping block, or at least at the business end of Jake's axe, is Recom Warren, played by Garrett Warren, the second unit director and stunt coordinator for the Avatar films. I had the honor of meeting Garrett Warren at The Way of Water's LA premiere, a dedicated individual who's worked for years behind the scenes on some of your favorite films, including Transformers, Divergent, Alita Battle Angel, and Logan. His cinematic death is quickly followed by that of Recom Fikes, who falls as swiftly as Neytiri's arrow meets his eye. Quite possibly, this is a repeat of his off-screen human death when his squad went up against the Olangi ground forces in the Avatar first film, Final Battle. Sean Anthony Moran, who plays Private Fike, is of course not the only actor to reprise his role for the Avatar sequels. Maria Walker, whose character shares her name, can be seen in the background of Quaritch's video log, laying down to the neural imaging scan, which allows her to come back as Recom Walker. Even if she is the third to die, Neytiri's arrow pierces her heart, and that is what allows Quaritch to recognize who has been attacking them. The fourth to go is Recom Brown, who you will notice is wearing a backwards baseball cap and vest, not the forward cap and tee. A role created for assistant stunt coordinator Steve Brown as he wears multiple hats over the course of production. By the end of Act 1, we're down five recoms. Two played by department heads were needed elsewhere on the film. Two played by actors who were turned in a cameo capacity to add continuity and for the fans. And one played by the excessively talented Kim Do. Marvel fans should be familiar with his work as he has performed stunts on several of their favorite projects. Recom Zhang is one of the first we meet and is the fifth to die when Natam intercepts his ambush on Neytiri. By the conflict at Three Brothers Rocks, only seven recoms remain. The next we see die is Lopez, played by Victor Lopez, parkour expert and co-founder of Tempest Freerunning Academy in LA. Neytiri shoots him off his ekran shortly after Payakin's attack. However, afterwards, as the sea dragon crashes and all is in freefall, we see the body of Recom Jaw float from a position close to where our favorite Tolkun had just occupied. Loak later salvages his weapon, leading us to believe that he is deceased, if not unconscious. Recom Jaw can be identified with the forward-facing cap and is played by Johnny Alexander, another Marvel crossover and CEO of Phoenix Rising Films. At this moment, it's unclear if his character was off during a deleted scene when the Met Kaina attack, or if he was trampled by the Tulkun. So Johnny, if you see this, we'd love to know. Either way, by Eclipse, Jake and Neytiri are on a rampage, taking out RDA soldiers left and right. Prager falls eighth with a spear through the chest, portrayed by professional outdoorsman and former Navy SEAL, Andrew Arabito also served as the film's military advisor. The final recom to perish is fan favorite Z Dog, full name Zdenarsik, which was misspelt in the dictionary and was specifically created for the renowned stunt performer Alicia Vela Bailey. Already doubling for Zoe Saldana, Sigourney Weaver, and countless others, Alicia was also an integral part of the first Avatar film, playing Ikeni, Saela, and many, many more. Neytiri strikes her once in the side and then again directly through the eye. But have no fear, even though Z-Dog is down, Alicia is sure to be back in a new skin for the Avatar sequels. Meanwhile, we are left to wonder what has happened to our final three survivors. During the final battle, Jake throws an entire person into Recom Mansk before realizing he is out of ammo. The scene then cuts away, leaving us to question if this Cory Hart wannabe will ever return, or if perhaps he was killed off-screen. Regardless, we know his alter ego, Devin Corman, will. 
He's not a Navi, he's not Colonel Quaritch, he's not Tsute or any of the other multiple characters that he's played. And by the way, I think that's the source of the damn problem in the first place is that who wouldn't have a personality disorder after playing 153 different damn characters? The boy's up for the SAG Ensemble Acting Award all by himself. That is the callback to the half-hour bonus flick off of A1's Blu-ray special features. If you have yet to experience this piece of comedy gold, I will leave a link down below. Kevin Dorman is an actor who specializes in motion capture. Those roles range from Quaritch's stand-in to General Ardmore's right-hand man, all the way to the playful Pyakon himself. And finally, with Waynefleet falling overboard and Quaritch being rescued by Spider, we're left with these two vicious antagonists played by the extremely talented actors Matt Gerald and Stephen Lang. So to recap, dead, 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 most likely dead, 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 and three we can expect to see in the next movie. Avatar 3 is set to release in theaters December 2024 and is expected to pick up right where this film left off. We can think of it like a part two to Avatar The Way of Water. In the interim, this channel will continue diving deeper into the questions that you have been asking. Have a topic in mind? Feel free to leave it in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you know the moment one of our videos drops. Next, I'll be explaining the three laws of AWA and how they have shaped the Navi people. So until next time, hi yellow vibe.